So we are now at uh, Ice Lawyers, which opened as recently as 2010, I believe, DT's way. That's correct. It, you, previously, it was a peach farm. The families bought it and turned it into a winery. They specialize in Bordeaux and... Cabernet Sauvignon. Right on. So we're going to head on in and give her a try. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Come on, on see my heart Okay. Hey, DT's wife, how'd that go? Unfortunately, the dog was just like really growling and barking. Barking at both of us. Yeah. And they weren't doing anything it but... Very uncomfortable. DT's wife has the winery guard here and she is navigating us through the wine country here in Niagara. So we're going to continue going from... Um, I want to have a glass of wine somewhere. Eisler's <laughs> Estates and we're going to go down... Without a dog barking at you? Yeah. It's not a fun way to have a glass of wine. Anyway, we're at a new one here. It's called the Queenston Mile Vineyard. They're known for sparkling wine, Pinot Noir, and um, Chardonnay. All right, what DT's wife said, so come on in. It's here. A uh, blend of Syrah, Merlot, Cab Sauv, and Pinot Noir, so the four red varieties that we have. Uh, the brood is going to be your traditional method, so think champagne with dry. this one. Yep. Right? It's going to be dry. Look at this, this is awesome. We've got holders on the chairs. So $15 for a flight um, during the COVID period here you do have to make a reservation for the testing or tasting. tasting table. So we just bought a flight here for 15 bucks and we're outside enjoying it. They got a at night be lovely here with the fire pit. Pretty cool spot. So they had three different um, three different ones to choose from and uh, DT did more of a white wine, a red wine, and then a sparkling. Mm. And then I did the sparkling. I did three different sparklings. Chardonnay? Uh, it's a blend of it's a blend of a whole bunch of Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, and a Riesling. Oh, that's, that's very nice. Now we're heading into one of our favorite wineries. It's the Ravine Winery, famous for their uh, stone oven pizza, or what do you call it? Brick oven pizza. Which you'll see later because I'm ordering one. It's actually a wood oven pizza. Wood oven pizza. Anyway, this place has been around not too long, what, 10 years maybe or so, but uh, we love it. Come on in. just checked into our room at the Oban Inn, which is in Niagara Lake, which is right across Niagara on the Lake Golf and Country Club, the oldest golf course in North America. So a little bit of history there, that's pretty cool. We're gonna show you the grounds here. The room's beautiful. We got a little balcony on the back overlooking the lake and the golf course. There's a courtyard here, but we'll show you all that. Beautiful little spot. Dance, dance, and I'm numb, and I'm done. Now the has just begun. In front of the Niagara Home Baker here. Little Sentimental Valley here. The Drunken Tourist grandmother worked at this location years ago. It has since been sold, but holds a special place in my heart and my mother's. She'll appreciate this. And the butter tarts here are amazing. Yes! So it's time for a pint. We're going to go to a historic, iconic uh, restaurant here that's been well-known world around here in Niagara Lake, it's called the Irish Heart. I 
Knox and watch a little TV, have a pre-dinner mart. We're heading to the Old Band Inn restaurant. Heard a lot of good things about it. The Drunken Tours is going to review, reflect, reply, relate. It's going to be great. So wait, really Cheers. When we dance into the stars. We should tell them what's our anniversary. <laughs> First of all, look at the size of the scallop. Good. Looks fantastic. I'm not sharing. No, the, the old drunken tourist, he's gone with uh, the lobster spaghetti. And it's in a fennel tarragon cream sauce. Let's try it out. With mess point. I love fennel. And you're just getting the hint of the fennel taste. It's not dominating. You're getting the tarragon. It's a little rich, but not too rich for me. Bang on. So we have Alexa here. She's going to give us some advice on the region here, where, what winery she would suggest. So go ahead, Alexa. So I, as of the COVID, um, uh, to say something uh, for all the wineries at the moment, um, some of the wineries, or I think most of the wineries, are not taking walk-in. So we always suggest to um, maybe make some reservations and to go for tasting. Some of the wineries are not even doing tasting at the moment. Um, I know that the Hair Winery and uh, Pilateri, oh, yeah. they are taking walk-ins. Uh, so that is if you want to do something spontaneous. And that is another thing I always recommend um, guests when they're coming to the town. Um, going to all the smaller wineries, um, the wine that you can't buy at the LCBO. One of the most popular activities here in Niagara and Lake is to rent a bike. We've rented from Zoom. They delivered the bikes on Saturday morning. They, well, I won't say where they left the key, but sometimes they'll leave with the front desk. You come out, pick up your bike, you're off on a great adventure. We've mapped out where we're gonna go. We're at the Oban Inn right now, which is down here. We're gonna start out to the Niagara Parkway, going towards Niagara Falls. Our end destination is going to be the Ice House, which is renowned for their amazing ice wines and their slushies and their slushies ice wine slushies we're gonna make our way back go for lunch somewhere and you're gonna follow it all but there's a little map it's a great little travel guide it's got all the wineries in there it gives a little explanation the history of the winery it's all good So we're riding on the bike trail, the walking path, jogging trail. It's right along the Niagara River. It's absolutely beautiful. In fact, Winston Churchill, was it, I'll look that up, no, put it on the screen here. But I think Winston Churchill said this was the most scenic drive coming from Niagara Falls, Niagara and the Lake that he'd ever been on. And it's true, but we're doing it by bike. Right along the Niagara River, it's beautiful. So DT's wife has came up with some startling facts. Let him rip. Okay, so this is where the Bruce Trail meets, begins, basically. This is where there's a waterfront trail that goes along Lake Ontario that's 650 kilometers. That's this, this spot right here is where it meets the 56 long kilometer long Niagara Park Whale Trail that we're on right now. And we can stop off at wineries. Wineries, the floral clock, we can go through the falls, we can do everything. In the middle of the day, you turn to me and say, come on, let's get away. Skip this town for a day Get behind the wheel and drive We don't care about the time With you by my side I don't need to hide I feel alive You bring me coffee in the morning Post it with a love note We both like to take it on a Sunday night You know 
So it should be noted, the right across the Niagara River are our American friends, and this is during COVID-19. It's gotta make a factual statement. It's such a shame our American friends can't come up here. We can't go up down there with the exception of essential services and, and other exemptions, but uh, just a hello and hope you're safe over there to my American friends. Love you guys. So from Old Town, Niagara on the lake to the Ice House, probably took us, what, 45 minutes to an hour? And we had lots of stops and starts taking photos and whatnot. So it's probably about an hour's bike ride. It's beautiful. If we continued on for another hour the same way, we could go right into Niagara Falls. You could view the falls. Nice day trip. But anyway, we're at one of our favorite spots here. It's called the Ice House. Ice House. They're famous for their ice wines. Unfortunately, we see on the front they're having a closing sale here for 25 bucks a bottle. So by the time you come here, maybe it won't be here. I don't know. Make sure you do your research. Anyway, we're going to head on. Honey notes here, a little butterscotch, a little green apple finish. Don't put this on your agenda, they are closing unfortunately. They got a month left, this closing sale drag because we really love it. So end of September mm. 2020 they'll be closed. Mm. So good. And how many regions in the world can you find ice wine? Just one, just here. Just here in Canada actually. BC makes one as well, British Columbia and Ontario. But Ontario is really known for its ice wine. What happens is when the, um, it's a, it, it was an accident basically when they first came out with ice wine, somebody left some um, vines on, some grapes on the vine over the winter and they found that when they squeezed them they were absolutely so, so flavorful. So now what they do, they purposely leave uh, the grapes on the vine until middle, usually it's middle of January when it gets to minus 8 or 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And then they go out sometimes at 3 o'clock in the morning and pick them and that's when they get their harvest. So the ice house, the ice house is closing. It's been a victim of COVID. And we've just been told, so we hope no uh, no other wineries fall victim to COVID as well. But anyway, after a hour long, uh, 30 degree bike ride, we're ready to get our due rewards. That'd be a Merlot ice wine slushy. It's a slushy, and then we've got the Vidal ice wine slushy. Pretty damn good. Okay, so I'm just going to read from the book, but it says uh, Frog's Pond Farm Organic Winery experienced the natural charm of Frog's Pond Farm, Ontario's first organic winery certified since 2001. This family farm uses environmentally sound and sustainable practices to craft authentic uh, small vat wine. <laughs> We didn't have a reservation, but she said she'll look after us on the patio. I like that. It's really crisp. Oh, yeah. I'll be the judge of that. And this is the orange wine. What's the What's the verdict? Oh, it's very purpose. Oh, like, yeah, like lots, lots. So we thought you we'd uh, keep walking here. Keep up here, too. Oh. Take you to the one of uh, one of the wineries off the beaten path. It's called Frog Pond. Everything's organic. The orange wine was pretty medicinal. Good vibe, excellent service, very unique winery. Apparently he doesn't give you a hangover. Yeah, that's what they're telling because it's organic. Great setting. So we would recommend this one. And uh, the gal that served us was on the down low, so we can't say her name, but excellent. Nissan seems to be a real, um, there's an influx of bike tours here, there's all different wine tours Van here, tours. So there's vans, there's bikes, there's everything, but they were really great, they couldn't get us in, but they gave us a complimentary tasting, next time we're here just call in advance, and you can come in, so I thought that was great customer. Part of the 
plan when you do your biking expedition along the Niagara Parkway or Niagara River. Bring a couple of glasses. Uh huh. Bring a couple of glasses. That's why I call them called the Drunken Tours for a reason. Fill those glasses up with a. We bought a uh, a dry uh, rose. Dry Riesling, or what is it? Trace? Rose. Rose from Caroline's. A dry rose from Caroline's. Uh, we couldn't get in, in there to eat or do tastings, but somebody told us they were doing takeout. So we got ourselves some perch and uh, some shrimp tacos. And we've been on our bikes for about two hours. Against the wind. Against the wind, yeah. Well, we're the Cheers. Peach salad. Niagara region is known for peaches. Can't wait to dig into this. Shrimp tacos, they are looking phenomenal. Looking outstanding. The drunken tourist has got about four pieces of perch there for about 300 bucks. No, I shouldn't say. It's about six uh, pieces of perch for 14 bucks. So, quick shout out to Caroline's. Caroline's cellar. The takeout we got was fantastic. The shrimp tacos were off the really, chain. Really, really good. The perch, he didn't get a whole lot, but it was, that, it was, that's it was perch, okay. Right? And because we were on the bike half hour, it was a little cool. But the peach salad, whew. Pizza was excellent. The good Lord has bestowed upon the Niagara region a bounty of produce, and peaches are part of that. It's amazing. And the dry, so this is dry the, rose. the 2019 Farmers Dry Rose. They, it just came out, and mm. they were all raving about it too. But it is nice. It's a good in between for you and I because you like red, I like white. Mix them together, you get rose. That's oh. what they do. discovered this winery way back 10 15 years ago we were at a restaurant and actually Glenn it was 18 years ago before we got married oh well whatever in Thunder Bay Ontario we're at a little restaurant called the White Fox Inn White Fox Inn great spot I hope it's still there fantastic food shout out to them anyway we discovered the Laley Reds there Ontario not known for the Reds but they're up and, up and coming they'll be up there with California and Italy one of these days Anyway, Laley is one of the at the forefront of Ontario Reds. We're gonna try it. No face, right? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, so how it works here is that we have four white, three reds, and three ice ones available for tasting. Okay. And each sample is four dollar. Okay. Or you can choose to do three flights, uh, three samples for ten dollars. Okay. Like the Chardonnay, like the kind of buttery Chardonnay. Yeah, these are my five different grapes: Cap Sol, Cap Franc, Merlot, Petit Verdot, and the Malbec. Oh, I love the color. Oh. A uh, lot of flavors in this one. You can taste uh, like um, plum, cherry, blackberry, and some cooking spices like a clove, bay leaf. Peppery flavors in this. Kind of for you nine. No, he's only he's only joking. Oh. Trying the Z Watt here at Lily's. So we got just on the nose, you got hints of strawberry, licorice, charcoal, pine tar. I don't know, guys. I can't talk to talk, but I mean, I'll tell if it tastes good or not. Okay, sure. Please. Oh, I like that one. That's good. That's easy drinking red. That's good, Helen. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Come down, come down, come down, come down, come down, come down to me. If you stay. How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good, thanks. Tell ya, the courtyard here is beautiful. The, the vegetation is off the chain, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Looks like there, there's a wedding over at the golf club, so. Even better is the people watching. I am digging this. I got my mark. Mike Carver, people. People, people, you know. Well, DT's wife has joined me out here. By the way, I'm sporting, sporting <laughs> some of the drunken tourist gear. This thing is so soft, it's beautiful. 
I got a link in my bio there if you want to order one. Christ, nobody's bought a thing off me. Bullshit. Anyway. So, let's summarize the day. We rented a bike. We spent five hours out. Six. Six hours touring the back roads, the Niagara Parkway, the wineries. What was the highlight of the day for you, DT Spike? You know what? It's been a long time since I've been on a bike. It was actually really fun just being on a bike. It actually is so much fun that I think I want to get a bike again. And there's it, this is a culture here. There's so many bikers out there doing the same thing we were doing, going see, from winery to winery. You can see why so many people retire here. Okay. But word to the wise, if you're doing this during COVID, make reservations. That was our... Our downfall. Our, our, our wee bad... This, this winery is very special to the, the um, DT and I because this is where we got our wedding wine. Now, the white wine that we got two vines was from this winery. That's fine. I haven't been rejected this much since I was single. Anyway, it's the era of COVID. You got to reserve online if you want to have a, a tasting at uh, Strun. But they got this big, we couldn't even have a glass of wine yet. You can only have a dinner or a lunch. We just wanted to, you know recoup our energy a little bit and have a glass of wine they got this great big grass area they could put chairs word to the wise charge 15 bucks glass the dough's just a rolling anyway it's yes. my rant today Uh, I will ask you several questions and based on your answers, I will give you, I will organize perfect individual taste. Oh, okay, great. Okay, question number one. Do you like sparkling wines? I do. No. No, <laughs> nothing for you. No. I know what I will serve you. So no sparkling serve for you. Aged in the oak, oh. like Chardonnay. Oh, really? For the first time, uh, in North America, Robert Mondavi did this uh, in the late 60s, 90s. He mm. wanted to create something totally different than French guys. So he took Sauvignon Blanc and aged oh. in the oak. It's a new style. It's called Fumé Blanc. So we just left Struan, as you know, and I'm uh, very disappointed, I will say. And then we came to Nomad, which is at Hinterbrook. And what they did is they, um, they give you a bottle of water each a glass that you can keep so they don't have to do the dishes in the COVID and era. five and five tastings different tastings and we're sitting outside beautiful little patio and uh they're just they're basically seven bucks a piece yeah they're, it's seven dollars a piece so it was actually fifteen dollars for the tax yeah. for us to do this yeah. to go with the peach sangria here at Cosman. I'm telling you, I I love sangria. I've never had peach sangria. As soon as it hits your nose, you're you're smelling the peach and then mm, refreshing, delightful, not too sweet, fantastic. And you get to keep the glass.
So probably about 20 kilometers later, we're going to settle down here at uh, Bill Terry. And what a beautiful setting. They do the wood oven pizza in the back here. They've got the band playing, although he's taking a break right now. And I haven't tried the wine. Wow. Not everything can be perfect, but it's good. So I gotta tell you, I've had a lot of pizzas in my day. This is right up in there, top three, top five. Look at that. The texture, it's thin but it holds together. The calabrese, spicy but not crazy. The sauce, you know, not in excess but tasty as so well. This is actually phenomenal. This is why we work, why it's you and I.